It's great to talk some Iona basketball with head coach Tobin Anderson, who this year has 11 scholarship players that are all new, plus one returning veteran. What's the challenge of putting these guys all together and meshing this group? Yeah, it's hard because they're all from different backgrounds, you know, especially guys who are more experienced who have been in programs where they've uh, – you know, they have habits and, and, and ways of playing and ways of doing things that have been established for, four, for three or four years and now come into a new system, new program. So it's a, it's a challenge, but we're, you know, we're making progress. We're, 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 we're learning each other, uh, finding our way. We've been, we, you know, I think we're close to being a really good team. Uh, we just got to keep on grinding, keep on getting better. But it's, um, with a brand new team, it's, 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 a, it's a roller coaster. It's, it's, there are ups and downs, and uh, we've had a, you know, a few downs, but we, I, think, I think our best basketball is ahead of us. The team is averaging nine steals per game. You're top 20 in the nation. Yep. You lead the MAC. You had yep. 17 in one game against Niagara. How does that fit into your defensive philosophy? You know, we press the whole game. You know, we probably, we probably press more than most teams in Division I um, on a consistent basis. So that part's good. We've been turning teams over. We're not turning the ball over. So that, that part has been really good. We just got to tie that in with our, with our half-court defense. And our half-court defense has not been um, good enough consistently to, to help us win enough games yet, but, our, but yeah, we're, we're forcing tempo, we're, we're, we're pushing the pace, we're turning teams over, that's how we want to play, so that part's been good. Edon Tretu leads the Gales in scoring, he's a transfer from Harvard, he is one of four D1 transfers that you have that are grad students. Tobin, he's smart and he can score, right? <laughs> well, he's the smartest guy I've ever coached before, I mean, he's incredible <laughs> being a Harvard graduate, but he's smart and he's, learn he's learning, really getting better as we go along, I mean, he's playing his best basketball, he had 30 points on uh, Sunday, so he's getting better um, as far as our system goes. Learn how to score. He can really he got a knack for scoring. So I think uh, the next six weeks he'll really be good for us as we come down the stretch here and and he figures out just the, you know, where where his points come from and and how to get open. Greg Gordon is a junior college transfer, averaging 13 points per game, six boards per game, and he's a guy who can really be jumping out of the gym in a yep. sense. Yep. He's an athlete. What do you want from him going forward? Well, what you just said, Bruce, I mean, him just playing, playing downhill, getting to the basket, playing at the rim, finishing at the rim, being a force all the time. He's just got to be consistent in how he plays. He's had uh, great halves and, and halves where he kinda, he's kind of not as aggressive. We want him to be aggressive all the time. Like, go, go make plays and go do what he does. Consistency is a word that I've heard a lot <laughs> this year when yep. you're talking about Iona basketball. Yep. Does that just take time? I mean, I think so. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it takes time. And like we, like you know, we we we've been there. We we're, we've 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 shown great moments of, of being really good. So we just got to get to over that hump a little bit. You know, we keep we keep getting to the point where we're ready to 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 to, to knock the door down, and we just haven't got a, had a chance to do that yet. So I think I think it's coming. The lone returning player is Osborne Shema. He's seven foot. He's got two MAC tournament titles under his belt. He missed the first ten games of the year, and now that he's back, does he give you a presence? both offensively because he yep. enables guys to go to the hoop yep. and defensively because he's that towering towering guy there. Yeah, I mean, he can spread the court because he can shoot the ball a little bit. He handles the ball. He plays like a guard. He's a seven-foot guard. And then defensively, he just can, he can guard a lot of people, you know. So uh, he brings that winning pedigree, too. He's won before. He knows how to win. He's, he's been in uh, the NCAA tournament. He's won MAC championships, like you said. So that helps us, too. It helps us to, to, to understand where he's been, how to get there. So I think he'll help us a lot down the stretch. Offensively, does he help you in the sense that guys can go to the hoop yeah. and you, he brings the big guy out? Yeah, he stretches the floor out. He brings the big guy out, out, out away from the rim. We're now guys like Edon and Greg can get to the basket and score. So that's a huge thing for us, being him be able to, to make threes and play in the perimeter. If you want threes, Weza Panzo <laughs> yep. is a guy who can do it. Last year, he shot 48%. Yep. He would have been top five in the yep. nation, maybe number two overall, if he had had more attempts. Yep. Are you looking for him to light it up from downtown? Yeah, and he's, and he's had uh, games where he's done that, too. So just, you know, the same thing, being a little more consistent is, is a huge for him. He's, he's shooting more of them this year, so that, which we want him to shoot, you know, six, seven, eight threes a game. Um, and it's hard because he's getting keyed on a lot here for, from us. But I think um, as he learns playing off Edon, playing off Greg, playing with Oz, Oz has been back now for, for eight or nine games, he'll find more opportunities. He can really shoot the ball. What is the challenge in terms of handling the ball and being unselfish and selfless as a team? Yeah, I mean, I think just learning when to, when to shoot, when to pass. You know, the great Hubie Browns that years ago, like, you know, the, the best players know when to pass, when to shoot. We've got to get a better, a better feel for, hey, that's a good shot or to turn that shot down for a great shot. We've gotten better at that. Our offense is coming around, Bruce. Um, that part's been pretty good. The turnovers have been good. Um, and now we've got to start guarding somebody.
That's the key. You've had a multitude of games which have been close. Yep. You've had six ball games which were decided by five or less, which ended up on the side that you don't want to end yes. up on. How do you do a better job of finishing in style yep. and getting the W's? Well, I think, you know, I like to think a lot of that stuff will even out at the end of the day. You know, but I think we have to get better at just doing what we do. You know, you got to trust, trust in each other, trust in what we do, especially down the stretch, right? When you've last, last two or three minutes, you've got to be great at – how we play, you know, and so I think we've got to just kind of stick to, our, stick to what we're doing, get a little bit better, learn each other a little bit better, and we're learning too, lineups and things like that, but I think, I think that stuff will even out, and I'm hoping we'll win those games here in the next, the next six weeks. The MAC tournament has defined the Gales. You've won six of the last seven tournament titles. Yeah. You've got time to get to March and get to yeah. that point. What does this team have to do to continue that legacy? Well, I think we all knew at the, at the start of the year, we'd be at our best, hopefully, come March, right? That's, and that's the idea. So I think we just have to keep on improving. You can't, you can't get discouraged about the, the, the tight losses, the, one, the games we, we, we should have had. I mean, listen, we've, we've given some away. That's just, the, that's just the truth. We've got to be able to fight through that, keep on getting better, and um, you know, just, just keep hanging in there, staying healthy, and uh, getting better as we get into the late part of the season. What's the first year been like for you, Tobin, in terms of the support you've gotten from the Iona community? It's been great. You know, people here have been, have been unbelievable. They, 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 they want to win. They want to have success. The, the passion here from uh, the people is, is incredible. So you couldn't, you couldn't ask for it. I want to be at a place where there's the same kind of passion that I have for, for winning and having success and, and, and running a great program. So it's all there. And, like, we want to win. They want to win. We're, we're all on the same page here. I think, I think you know, we're, we're going to turn that corner and have a great last, uh, last half of the season. You've got so many guys who are contributing this year. Gene Aragorn, uh, he's the crafty freshman. Yep. Jeremiah Quigley, Joel Brown, your yep. floor general. Sultan Adam Wally, who can give you block shots. And Dylan Saunders and Terrell Williams Jr. They've all, they've all, they've all contributed. Yep. Yep. So there's only X amount of playing time. Yep. There's only X yep. amount of minutes. Will these guys have earned their spot when it's tournament time? Well, that's that's a good point, Bruce. We're trying to figure. That's what we're trying to figure out a little bit. Is who you know how how's our rotation? How deep's our rotation? Are we, gonna go, are we gonna go nine or ten deep? We'd like to go nine deep. Nine nine's, nine's a good number. So those guys, we're trying to kind of see who's. Um, and we're, we're we're getting to the point now. We got to kind of make some decisions on who can play for us um, in those big in those big games down the stretch. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's a learning process. But I think those guys, like all the guys you mentioned. Have, have helped us win games. Now let's, let's see what they can do down the stretch for us. Tobin Anderson has won everywhere he's been, whether it's Hamilton or Clarkson or St. Thomas Aquinas or FDU. What does it mean to you to have the opportunity now to carry that forward to Iona? It's everything. You know, that's, that's why I came here. I came here because I wanted to be at a place that wants to win and wants to have great success. And you know, our goals stay the same. We haven't changed anything as far as our um, what we want to do here, we want to go to the NCAA tournament, we want to win the MAC championships, go to the NCAA tournament, and win NCAA games, right? So that's still the goal. Things have not changed at all. Um, has it been a little bit inconsistent or a, a struggle? Yeah, a little bit. But I think sometimes that was part of, the, part of the, the mission. And I think once we get ourselves to a place where we're playing really good basketball, we have a chance to do those kind of things. Do you embrace the responsibility that comes with being the head coach of the Iona Gales. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. I, lo I love being here. I love the place. Love love the the, the expectations and and um and I'm sure there's some 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 fans and people who are are as frustrated and, and, and want to see us win as much as much as we do. That we, we love that. We, we we want that. And so um let's keep pushing. Let's keep grinding. Let's keep getting better. We're going back to work this afternoon. We'll be we'll be practicing for two hours this afternoon. Getting better. And uh, I have no I have no doubts that, that that this team can still do great things. And finally, what's your message to the Iona community here as they've been on this ride with you so far and as they continue to ride with you? Keep supporting us. Like, keep supporting these guys. Keep supporting this team. It's a brand new team. It's a, you know, the whole thing. And, and like, we, we need um, Heinz Pack. We, we need a great crowd at, at home. We need people coming out to our games. You know, we're, all that stuff pushes you when it's a close game, when it's, when it's tight, all that kind of all, all the home court advantage. We have an unbelievable home court advantage. Our fans love us. So come to our games. Come see us play. Stick with us. Um, there are great things ahead for this team. Don't, don't, uh, don't, don't have any doubts at all, and let's keep on getting, you know, getting better. Tobin Anderson, energy, passion, professionalism, elegance, excellence, head coach of the Iona University Gales. Thanks for spending some time with us, Tobin. Always great to see you, Bruce. Thanks a lot.